So this is going to be a tutorial on how to program the Pythagorean theorem into your calculator. So we're going to go and create a new program, and I'm going to call it Pyth. All right, now let's call it Pyth, and let's get started. So first we're going to create a menu so that the user can choose what they want to find. They'll either be looking for a leg or a hypotenuse. So we're going to make a menu and ask them what they want to do. So let's go program and go down to menu. And now from there, we're going to enter the title of our menu. We're just going to say find colon and quotations. Now turn off alpha lock comma. Now we're going to turn it on again because we have to enter the title of our first item. We're going to say leg as option one alpha lock comma now let's put it now we're going to make that go to label one comma new entry we're going to do hypotenuse so that's h y p o t e n u s e and comma two and those are the two options that they need. Now let's press enter. And let's start programming label one. So let's go program down to nine, label one. And now, if they choose label one, they're looking for a leg. So we'll have them enter a leg first. So we're going to be using the input function for the entering, um, entering values into the calculator. What this allows us to do instead of prompt is it allows us to specify our own string instead of it just saying the, the letter variable that it's storing in and then question mark. So it looks much cleaner to the user. So let's do that. We're going to go program IO input. Now the first thing it takes is what we want it to say. So we're going to ask it for input for the leg first. So let's do input space leg colon space quotation marks comma and we want to store that in a so that's how input works you enter the title of what you want to display and then you enter the letter right there after a comma now now that we've done that we want to ask them for the hypotenuse so let's do the same thing except with hypotenuse so input input hypotenuse alpha comma and let's do a b over there okay now we're ready to display the answer so all we have to do now is go program io disp and now do the formula so to find the leg of a triangle given the hypotenuse and the leg, we have to do radical. The hypotenuse is b in this case, so we're going to do alpha b squared minus alpha a squared. And I pushed the wrong button. a squared. Now, we displayed the answer there. We're going to pause it so that the user can see this until they don't want to anymore. Then after we pause, we're going to stop so that it exits the program. Stop. Okay, now we're done with option one. Let's go to option two, which is label two. So let's go program all the way down to nine, which is label two. Okay, now we're going to ask them for two legs. So we're going to go program IO input second alpha lock plus for quotations now we're going to say enter or let's do input to be consistent so input leg and now let's turn off alpha so we can enter one one now we're going to alpha lock it again so we can go colon space quotation and press comma and do a. 
Now we're going to do leg two. So let's do the same thing. Oops. Now alpha quotations, comma, B. Okay, now we have both legs in. So to calculate the hypotenuse, all we have to do is go program, IO, disp, and then after that, we're going to go second x squared for a square root, and do the square root of a squared plus b squared. Okay, now we're going to pause it so that the user can look at their answer. And now we're going to stop. Okay, so now your program is done. Let's go over it once more. So, we start with the menu where we ask them what they want to find. Do they want to find a leg or the hypotenuse? So, then we give it the labels that it has to go to based on each action. So, label 1 is for finding a leg. So we look at input here, and this is input leg, which is stores an A, and then we ask them to input the hypotenuse, which is at B. But hold on. I think we might be over the character limit. I'm just counting here. We just get 16. So we're good. Yeah, if we didn't have 16, we'd have to put it on two lines, which is very difficult with the input function, so we're lucky. So, as you can see here, I have b squared minus a squared, but that's because I only have a and b here, and I make our hypotenuse b instead of c, so it still works out. Then we pause so that the user can look at their answer until they're done with it, then they press enter, and the program stops. Now we're on to the second label. So this is if they choose option 2 in the menu. So now it asks them to input the first leg, and it stores that value in A. Then it does the same thing asking them to input the second leg, stores it in B, and then it displays the answer. Now as you can see here, done some algebra again, so we have a, our legs A and B, and then our hypotenuse C. So we're looking for the hypotenuse, so we know A and B but we don't know c, so we're just going to go radical c squared equals radical a squared plus b squared. And then we get that the hypotenuse c equals a squared plus b squared. So now we have that in here, a squared plus b squared. It's going to display that result. It's going to pause so that the user can look at it. Then when the user press enter, it's going to stop. So let's see if it works. We go program, and let's go exec to pi. Now, it's asking us, do we want to find a leg or a hypotenuse? So, let's ask for finding a leg. And I'm going to use the 3, 4, 5, Pythagorean triple here, just so that we know our answer is correct. But it should work with any answer, so let's check it out. So, it's asking us to input our leg. So let's say that our leg is 3. Now input our hypotenuse. So our hypotenuse is 5. And it's giving us 4. So that worked. Now let's run again and test our second option. We don't know if both work yet. Alright, so program Pyth. Let's enter. We want to find our hypotenuse. Our leg 1 is 3. Leg 2 is 4. And it prints out 5. So our program's fully working. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the programming tutorials and that you enjoy using these programs to save you a ton to save you tons of time. Thanks for watching everybody. Please enjoy this musical video of a calculator.